So red June instead of red July. What's that about? Well, I've got two weddings and I've got a conference and a bunch of other stuff in July. And so I think the chance of July as a roll every day in July to succeed is pretty low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll every day in June instead. They're going to be uh, simple and short mostly, except for this introductory video. I'm going to try to keep each one to me either doing a flow skate or a very short bit on uh, a new thing I can do on skates. But uh, it's mostly gonna just be pretty chill and just with a low bar of getting on my skates every day. Even if it rains, I've got a second pair, my old skates, which I can use in the rain. So yeah, it's super, super low effort. And uh, you'll notice I've not been doing many skate edits and that's because frankly editing skate videos got really dull. Um, so I just stopped doing it. So yeah, these will be light on editing. They'll be short, uh, mostly. As I say, there might be a flow cast like this one, where I'm just sort of skating around, playing around. I'm fighting a cold at the moment, so I don't feel like doing anything ridiculously crazy. Um, yeah, I realize camera forward, not the greatest for this because you can't actually see my skates and me playing. Yeah, whatever. As I say, it's mostly just going to be me mucking about, um, chilling, and enjoying a skate. Um, I'm much more confident and comfortable on my skate, but I do feel like I plateaued a bit. So hopefully this month of skating, uh, we'll see some actual progression, some actual progress. So, see how that goes. Um, yeah, is what it is. Maybe we'll dedicate some videos to learning some new tricks. Maybe, uh, yeah, what is the stuff I'm working on? A uh, little jump, bunny hops. Bunny hops I've got down enough to sort of avoid tiny obstacles. Um, general speed and skate control is better. Uh, yeah, I've been commuting on skates a bit, not as much as I'd like. You know how it is. It's harder in the morning. Gotta be really careful with this because uh, cyclists can come at speed. You gotta check that you have a way through. It's actually quite nice when there's a bunch of people in front of you like this. The annoying part is on the other side of this I'm gonna have to get a whole bunch of energy because normally I barrel down and I've got all that speed to go up the hill but without that speed it's just a slog oh well is what it is yeah still fucking love skating uh, don't get to do it as much as I'd like now that I'm working in Guildford because um, well the after work skate was a big part of what I played around with like how I found time to skate huh. carnival of some sort interesting Now 
no idea how long they're here for. It's going to kill this puff that I'm guessing. Oh well. With summer out, the park is busier than I'd like. That's us. Hey, quaddies. I suppose one thing we haven't done this. It's good. I'm being careful because I'm using my phone instead of the action camera. So we haven't done. A little bit worried about dropping my phone. Not drastically, but you know, enough to be cautious. That and uh, <coughs> this cold is just killing any energy <coughs> reserves I have. So you've just got to do everything with that less. Don't have that tank to reach into. Thankfully, Park's gates are pretty chill. Um, I find now the only time I'm really pressed um, energy wise is the street. Because obviously, the street you've got to go fast and the surfaces are so much rougher. So you just burn so many, so much more energy. Um, yeah, streetscape, man. It's it's good. I like it. Wouldn't say it's the funnest. Um, I much prefer sort of in place mucking about stuff. But in regards to uh... <laughs> <laughs> Man, you always lose those energy on those uphills. It makes sense because people walk slower uphill. So you're more likely to encounter them on the up than the down. It's always a little annoying though. As you hope to use that energy from the down into the up. avoid that carnival there's a few ways we can do that um, I'm gonna go with the funnest way the most curvy curvy but also the most likely to hit obstructions those things, I fucking hate those things. Should not be allowed. Docked bikes, all four. Dockless, where people just leave them wherever the fuck they want. That's a whole another layer of problem. <sighs> okay. I'm actually already feeling heavy in my chest because this. <laughs> Cold is getting to me. Yeah. I didn't know you were going to bang him. You should stand there. So I thought, oh yeah, maybe yes. Maybe. Okay. I swear this chick looks good. Ah. 
Okay. This bit can be fun. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck that shit. Take the back road. It's a little bit bumpy, but it's all chill. I don't know whether to go left or right there. Cheers. It's actually really useful. Um, the brake just sort of announces you in a non-obnoxious way. It's like, hey, I'm slowing down. I'm being considerate of you. Do you mind being considerate of me? And it's not a loud, sharp sound. It's easy to echolocate. Um, it's a good sound. It's a good sound to get people's attention. So, there's a few ways we can go from here. Um, I think I'm going to go for the easiest. Actually, no, no, no. Yeah, let's go for the easy option. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, should be able to just step through there. Um, wasn't what I was actually talking about. I was actually talking about was whether or not we take the wide road there, or we take the narrow road. And I think the narrow road is just so likely to be blocked that why bother? is heavy. Oh, I think I'm gonna, I think I've, I think I've risked this cold too much. Light. Light. Oh. Okay, from here, it's all pretty dull. So, I'm just gonna, Thank you.